hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be telling you the different colors of period blood and what those colors also signifies so if this is your first time watching me my name is nay Yvonne. stay tuned and please don't forget to like subscribe and also share these videos with others so they can also benefit from this knowledge so stay tuned guys welcome everyone so like i said already i'll be telling you the different colors of period blood and also what they signifies so most of times every month or at the end of your menstrual cycle you have your period flu and definitely this period flu might vary throughout the process of the period flu you might be experiencing that at the start of the period the color might be different at the middle maybe the color might be different and also at the end of it the color might be different so i'll be telling you why this color are different and also what they signifies so at the start of your period the first kind of color you will mostly find is the pink period blood usually signifies the start of your period when your period is about to start and you go to the washroom and maybe you use a tissue or maybe you look at your pan you kind of find that the flow it's kind of pinkish though it's red but it's more of pink so this pink is usually as a result of the fact that the first um, flow that it's coming out it's usually highly diluted with your vagina fluid which is the vagina cervical mucus so it's going to dilute it instead of it being that bright red it's going to be more diluted looking more of pink so that's why you will be having that kind of pinkish kind of color so that is usually the cause the second type of period blood color you will be seeing is the bright red color so this bright red color it's usually maybe the second day of your menstrual flow or maybe still on the first day of your period you start having this bright red color it's as a result of the fact that your uterus is contracting very fast and more blood is being released and the flow is also very fast the blood does not have time to stay in your womb or your uterus so it just comes out from your vagina and it's very fast so with that it's very bright it's just as your uterus is contracting it's flowing out and coming out immediately it's very fresh and it's flowing very fast that's why it's very bright and very red so that is it the next kind i'll be telling you is the dark red blood so with this dark red it's as a result of the fact that maybe the contraction of your uterus has slowed down or maybe you have a moderate period so when this happened now the blood is flowing out it's taking longer time for it to come out so during that process now the oxygen in your body gets to oxidize this blood so when it's being oxidized the color will change from that bright red to dark red that is why you'll be finding that the flow that is coming out it's a little bit dark instead of bright at times also this dark red might be as a result of the fact that you slept as you were lying down maybe the flow was not coming out very fast so as it's staying in your uterus it becomes darker the blood is being oxidized with the oxygen that is found in your body so it oxidizes and it tends to be dark red so that is usually the cause or maybe it could be that your menstrual flow it's not really that fast so when your menstrual period is not flowing very fast the blood is being delayed in your uterus and vagina it comes out already looking dark it has already been oxidized the next kind of period blood i'll be telling you it's the dark red that comes with cloth so most of times this cloth is as a result of the fact that your uterus is contracting very fast and also it's breaking down and it's forming clumps at times also it might be as a result of the fact that the blood that was released from your uterus stayed a long way in your womb so once it stayed there for a longer time the blood will clump together forming this clot and this clot will comes out in the form of tiny particle at times it can be large also but it's usually flowing in the form of tiny clot particle but in a situation where the clot particles are very large like maybe more than 2.5 centimeters that's when you have to seek for medical attention asap so when the blood sample stays in your womb they clump together forming these tiny clots that will come out looking very dark and it's also dark because it has 
has stayed there for a longer time definitely it has been oxidized by oxygen making it to be very dark so but normally if you take these clumps of period blood you press maybe you try to scatter it you will realize it's just normal blood and it's very red don't get scared it's your period so you can always look at it so if you find those clumps hanging on your path you can equally take and then you try to feel it and see how it looks like so it when it's when you scatter it it's going to be very bright red so the reason why it's dark is as a result of the fact that it has stayed in your uterus before flowing out and most of times it has been oxidized and the clump is as a result of the fact that during the contraction of your uterus it, it came out in lumps and then it stayed in your uterus and also some of the blood that was left there got stick together and they form these clumps which are known as clot and also it can be as a result of the fact that your vagina is being blocked it could be blocked by tampo or maybe any other thing so when it's blocked also the blood will stay there and when it stay there for some time they might clot form those clumps together when they form those clumps it then flows out now as tiny clots don't get scared they are just normal processes that are happen and it's normal flow the only time you can really get worried is if the clots are very large like 2.5 centimeter and above so most of times you will be finding this kind of dark red blood with clumps usually at the end of your menstrual period or maybe within the end or maybe the middle of your menstrual period that is when you are going to find this clump but most of the times at the end of your menstrual period so the next kind of period color i'll be talking about is the brown color the brown period blood color so with this it's um, brown as a result of the fact that the blood has been mixed with your cervical fluid so when it's mixed it tends to be brown and mostly you find this kind of color of period blood at the beginning of your menstrual period and also at the end of your menstrual period because the flow was very slow and usually at the end of your menstrual period because the flow also is very slow and when it's slow also it's being oxidized on its way so once it's oxidized and then it's also mixed with your cervical fluid which is your vagina discharge so at the end of the day when it flows out you find it looking kind of brownish in color so that is it but that doesn't call for any alarm so all of these they are the different kind of colors that you might experience during your menstrual period but all of these colors they don't really call for alarm they are not specific colors you will have when you are having your menstrual period so most of times your blood color might change depending on situation it might depend if the blood is flowing very fast if it's flowing very slow if it's a start of your menstrual menstrual period which has been oxidized with cervical mucus so if you have your menstrual period the things you should be worried about should not be the color of your menstrual period at times even the very dark red some for some people they might see it as even being black but believe me if you take the blood sample and you try to scatter it or maybe you try to look at it or maybe try to feel it you will see that it's really red so that's it what you should focus on during your menstrual period should not be the change in your period blood what you should really focus on should be the size of the clot if the kind of clot you are producing it's very large like larger than 2.5 centimeters that's when you have to seek for medical attention very fast and then the next one is that if you're bleeding very fast and very heavily like for example within a duration of one hour you have already soaked one part completely that is when you have to see a doctor because it's not normal you have to bleed but not too heavily and not too fast within a very short interval and then the next thing also you have to pay close attention within your menstrual period is that you have to know is your menstrual period so frequent or not so frequent those are the things you have to pay attention and then the next one you have to pay attention is that are you bleeding for a very long period of time because if you're bleeding for a very long period of time let me say maybe for two weeks or even more that is when you have to seek for fast medical attention because those ones are not normal also during your menstrual period when you are bleeding if you have severe cramp 
that's when you have to seek for medical attention as soon as possible so instead of you checking the color of your menstrual period what you should focus more on are these things you should check if the kind of cloth that you're producing is 2.5 centimeters if you're bleeding so frequently or maybe not so frequently if your amount of flow is very heavy if you're bleeding very heavily and also if you are having severe cramp during your menstrual period and lastly if you are bleeding for so long so these are the things you have to pay attention and and definitely if you see any abnormalities you have to visit the doctor as soon as possible so hope this my explanation helps solve some of the worries you are having if your color of period blood is changing from pink brown dark red bright red those are not the things you should be worried about so instead focus on these other things i've just listed here if everything is normal no need to worry but if you are experiencing these things i've listed that's when you have to be worried about your period blood color so if this is your first time watching me don't forget to like subscribe and remember please kindly share this video with others so they are also going to benefit from this information thank you and stay safe remember i love you all ciao